close that and go back to my new tab and on this button I want you to click docs today we're going to start our docs training when you get here I want you to simply click on a new doc and then I want you to put in docs training and your initials and all you do to do that is click once and then you can select it and type over it. We are going to have a test over how Google Docs works and what all these buttons are and things like this and we're gonna get this training started with these little mini lessons at the start of class. Start by on the top line typing your name and putting training doc. When you're done with that select it and make that entire thing much larger with the font size button. Yes, that's one we're going to use. We're also going to use the font style. So pick a, actually the font. We're going to pick a font. So pick a font you like, and then you also have to be very good at being able to center. And then I would also like you to be great at painting the text colors. So I'd like you to make one whichever color you want. I would like you to do another where you make the word one color but then you also use the cool highlight button to put another color around it so now I've got gray around my blue and then the last one I would like you to change each letter to its own color so we're practicing selecting and we're practicing changing colors to make something on our screen nice and for the next part we're gonna do the styles type this is normal text and then on your normal text style when you click it look at it, it gets rid of all the pretty colorful stuff and does that select that and do control so hold the control and tap the letter C as in cat press enter and in control V as in victory to paste it the second kind we're going to try is a title so just change this to say this is a title when you're done with that change it to a title and notice how it makes it larger in a fancier font I would like you to copy that line and then press control V to paste it and then I would like you to change to the next one that's what a subtitle looks like this is what a heading looks like and then let's test this is heading 3 so it lets you three see four different styles of text I'm not worried about you labeling which one is which. We're just simply learning that the styles, fonts, and font sizes, and font colors are all there. All right, the last piece for today is I want you to push some text to the right, put one in the middle. You've already got one on the left, and let's see if this will justify. And it won't justify what that does is it spreads it evenly across the screen but there's not enough words to spread it. When you've got these steps done, you are done for the day. Make sure your partner has theirs looking good too. The beautiful thing about Google Chrome is it saves in the cloud so you can immediately hit close and it was saved. Really quickly go back to your Google Docs tab and on your Chromebook uh, find your doc for the module so that you're ready to put in your daily module outcome. Remember, you'll have one of these for each day. Today will be all the way up to day 25. Remember, you must write these each day, and this also lets you know how long it's taking you to get through the modules. I'd like modules to take about 15 class days, and uh, this is your place where you can check and see just how long it's been taken. So get to work in your modules. Make sure when you learn something cool, you edit there, and let's have a great day in modular technology. Thank you.